Test one. Test. Test one. Test. Test. What's up, Jake? Yes. All right, here we go. Test one, two. 
How does that sound? Good evening, everyone, and welcome to this broadcast live on 956sports.com. We are in the regional quarterfinals here where the Lady Panthers are taking on the Laredo Lady Longhorns from Laredo United. I'm Carlos Robledo here with his broadcast uh, with K-West from Westlaco ISD, a collaboration to bring you this broadcast live on 956sports.com from Gruya High School, where it is a packed crowd, a loud crowd, and, and they're going to be making a lot of noise here uh, this evening. The winner of this game moves on to the regional tournament, which will be taking place starting on Friday, 6 o'clock at University of Texas Pan American. We'll go ahead and send it down to the PA announcer for the beginning of this game. Hey. 
So there you go. There you have the starting lineup for uh, both these two teams. Once again, we'll go over them for you. Uh, Loretta United, you're going to have Pam Rosas. We're coming in there. Claudia Ropes, Alejandra Bustamante, Destiny Lopez, and Abby Magana for the Westlaco Lady Panthers coming to this game at 34-2. Summer Smith, Angela Villarreal, Megan Perales, Jazz Muniz, and uh, Laura Van Tilburg. Your starting five, Megan Perales, also win there. So it uh, should be a good game here. There's two teams fighting to go on to the next round of the playoffs. The regional tournament taking place at the University of Texas Pan American. It should be loud because uh, Laredo United, they brought their pep band. And they're playing in here in, in a pretty much a small gymnasium. Got to remember, Gruya is a 3A school. So the bleachers go 10 rows up. And that's about it. Most of the West Local fans have packed the uh, east side of the bleachers. And uh, Loretta United, they're on the other side, kind of scattered throughout. Didn't exactly pack their side. It is a long way from Loretta United. We'd like to thank everyone uh, from Loretta who's watching this broadcast live on 956sports.com. I'm Carlos Roberto in collaboration with WISD KOS with Rafael Cavazos on the camera. Valent Val Samora also working the camera here. I'd like to thank everybody from KOS for helping to make this possible here tonight. Should be a good matchup as the Lady Panthers Come onto the, onto the court now. Here we have Van Tilburg in the middle right here, the 6'3 senior who has signed with the University of Texas Pan American. And uh, she'll go right here to help the cause for the Lady Panthers. <laughs> 
All right, so here we go. Everyone's excited for this game. Nice little drive out here to La Gruya and Gruya High School. I'd like to thank them also for their hospitality. And here we go. Tip control here by the Lady Panthers. This is Villarreal with the ball, driving baseline. Puts it up, no good. And knocked out of bounds uh, by Loretta United. So the Lady Panthers get the ball right back here. And that was just a quick little drive there for Villarreal. And you got to believe this team is very confident. Remember, the Lady Panthers are 34-2 and, and uh, have not lost to a Valley School in two years. Van Tilburg, that one partially blocked and also a foul. And that one's going to go on Abby Magana, number 23 here for the Lady Longhorns. First foul of the game and trying to get the first points of the contest will be Van Tilburg at the free throw line. And she does an excellent job. She has all season long shooting her free throws. So here we go here. Van Tilburg's first shot is off the mark. Second free throw here now coming. The record for Loretta United, they were the runners up in their district in Laredo. 25 and eight runners up to Laredo Alexander. In fact, Laredo Alexander playing uh, Los Fresnos tonight at Sherryland and they're playing for the right to go to the regional tournament. Second one is good and the Lady Panthers are on the board. And here we go as a little bit of pressure here being put on by senior Summer Smith on the guard right there for the Lady Longhorns. Driving, putting it up and strong and scored right there. Quick two points there for Alejandra Bustamante. Angela Villarreal now working the other direction, top of the key here, looking to go inside. As the Lady Panthers will run their set here. Score is two to one with Loretta United on top. I'd like to thank our sponsors, Payne Auto Group, McDonald's, and South Texas College. And they're gonna call right there, Angela Villarreal carrying the ball, so that's a turnover. These officials will be calling this game. They call it a little bit tighter as we move on into the playoffs. And uh, these officials coming out of the Corpus Christi area. All right, handling the ball there is Ross, Rosas. I should say, now moving the ball back to Rosas. Rosas against Summer Smith. Smith doing a good job defensively. And here we go, Van Tilburg here on the defense. And going to be a travel there against Destiny Lopez. And Lopez looks like she has a little size right here against Van Tilburg. Maybe running about 5'11", maybe 6' foot there. Of course, Van Tilburg at 6'3", certainly a lot taller than her. So she certainly will have the height advantage as she has had throughout most of this year. All right, Villarreal now with the ball on the wing, looking to go baseline. She does, passes it to Van Tilburg inside. Looked like she was hacked, but no foul called. And score two points right there for Van Tilburg, who's been on a tear throughout these playoffs. 24 points in that first by district game in the area round game. She had 27 points. She already has three points in this contest. All the points so far for the Lady Panthers, but we're early on at 6-13 in the first quarter. Blocked there by Van Tilburg. Villarreal now on the run. She got Smith in front of her, loses the ball there because uh, Loretta United got back quickly. And an opportunity there for the Panthers, but good job there by the Lady Longhorns to get back. So they'll reset the offense here for Villarreal and the Lady Panthers. Laura Van Tilburg with one block so far in this game. Shot there by Villarreal, no good. Rebound by Perales. She is fouled, and she'll go to the line. 3-2 is our score, and she won't be going to the line. This will be on the side here. So uh, Summer Smith will inbound it. Looking, looking, looking. She has to get rid of it. Going to call timeout. Is that a five-second violation? Yep, five-second violation. Couldn't find anybody. And I thought somebody was going to call a timeout there, but a little too late. 5.45 here in the first quarter. Just getting started at 3-2. Lady Panthers on top. Rosas with the ball here, going up against Smith. Ropas looking, looking, and she'll pass it out there to Lopez. Not much offense right here for the Lady Longhorns. They'll shoot from the outside and count that one. Magana with the two points there for the Lady Longhorns. Make the score now four to three. The girls in orange on top now. So Villarreal now working it to Muniz. Muniz looking in here back to Smith, and Villarreal will come around here 
trying to get something going here. And uh, Van Tilburg with the ball now. Smith. Smith is looking now, taking their time. Very, very patient are the Lady Panthers, as we've seen most of the times here in these games in the playoffs. Moonice likes to shoot those three-pointers, and they're watching her closely. They've done some good scouting, already have the long horns. Megan Perales sneaks inside and scores right there for the Lady Panthers. Her first two points of the game, and Lady Panthers back on top, 5-4, to 4-32 in the first quarter. Good team so far between these two teams. And United also very, very patient offensively. Nothing to force. They do there, force it a little bit, and Villarreal comes up with it, passes it one-handed to Smith. She can't handle it, loses the ball, and it'll go back to United. New personnel now coming in here for the Lady Longhorns, Jess Rosas coming into the game. Sitting down and taking the breather will be Calavia Lopez. All right, handling the ball here. This is Pam Rosas. Handling the ball right now here for the Lady Longhorns. Rosas with the ball. Closely guarded by Smith. And she'll work the ball around there to the far side. With the ball now. That's Lopez. And outside shot. Magana will shoot that one. No good. And rebound by Lopez. Lopez has a little bit of height on her. They haven't tried to go inside because uh, doing a good job there is Van Tilburg. Rosas driving. Passes it to Lopez. No good. Rebound Van Tilburg. Destiny Lopez. That one may be partially blocked, but stolen back by the Longhorns. That Alice will go for the foul or the loose ball right there. Tie up a member of the Lady Longhorns. She goes down hard. And that's uh, Bustamante, Alejandro Bustamante. And position L says, says it stays with the uh, United. So 3.30 in the first quarter. 5-4. Panthers on top. And here we go. Magana with the ball. Works it around the perimeter here. Trying to go inside to Lopez. Lopez going up against Van Tilburg. Van Tilburg can't block that one. And score. Nope. No score there for Lopez. And the Lady Longhorns. Here comes Villarreal now. Working it here to Jazz Muniz. Good defense here by the Lady Longhorns. Taking the shot there. Off the glass for Jazz Muniz. Making it 7-4 with the two-pointer. Rosas now handling the ball here. And Summer Smith, the defensive specialist for the Lady Panthers. Coming around Muniz to try to steal that one away, but nothing doing. And here we go now with the ball. That's Rosas. Going to be a foul, looks like it, on the floor. And let's see who this one's going to be against. It's going to go against Megan Perales, her first foul of the game. Inbound pass to Magana. Magana is looking, looking, driving now. Yep, she traveled. Double dribble, in fact. And turnover there for Ali Magana. Coming into the game now will be, uh, this will be Carillo. Odalis Carillo coming into the game now and taking a breather will be Destiny Lopez for Laredo. 239 low scoring game so far, 7 to 4. Lady Panthers on top. Not a lot of fast break opportunities so far for the Lady Panthers, thanks to the good defense by Laredo United. They work it inside, off the glass. Smith, no good. And rebound by Rosas. Rosas quickly up the court, wants to push it. She does. And just a little too much mustard on that pass. And that'll be a turnover. 220 now in the first quarter. Score is correct on your screen, 7 to 4, Lady Panthers. Both these two teams, a little cold so far. And it might be pretty much the good defense. I know United has played great defense so far against the Lady Panthers. Van Tilburg with three points in the game. They feed it inside to her, but it, the middle was clogged. A foul will be called. And it looks like it's going to go on number 22, Jess Rosas. It sure is her first foul of the game. Nothing really inside for uh, Van Tilburg as they're doing a good job double-teaming double, double teaming her and triple-teaming her. That'll just leave the perimeter open. They do get it inside here to Van Tilburg. Van Tilburg takes a shot baseline. She's fouled. Couldn't get the bucket, but she'll go to the line and shoot two free throws. The foul here looks like it's... didn't quite catch it. 
it 44? Well, I'm gonna be on, it was on 42, Carillo, her first foul. Yeah, 42, getting the clarification now from the official at the uh, scoring table. Van Tilburg so far, one for one from the line. Oh, I'm sorry, one for two from the line. That one is in and out for Laura Van Tilburg. Second free throw now here coming. We're at 159, just under two minutes here in the first quarter. Van Tilburg getting ready now for her second free throw. And that one off the back of the rim and no good. She is one for four tonight from the free throw line. Has three points in the contest, does Van Tilburg. All right here, United now working the ball around here. Bustamante outside. Three-pointer, no good. And uh, coming up with it, Van Tilburg. It looked like maybe United had a chance at that one. And here comes Villarreal working down the court quickly. And we'll have to back out. 136 here in the first quarter. Van Tilburg trying a little pick and roll with Angela Villarreal. That one won't fall for her. And rebound here, United. 122 now left in the first quarter. Handling the ball here now is Magañas. Magaña doing a good job against Villarreal to work the ball around over here to Rosas. Back to Magaña. And nothing inside. Magaña wasn't expecting that one and nearly stolen by Villarreal. And now there's a scramble for it. Now it comes over here back to Rosas. Rosas finds the open person and it scored right there. Two more points for Alejandra Bustamante. And Westlaco now working in the other direction. 7-6 to six is the score. 47 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Muniz had all her points in that area round game. They were all three-pointers for her. Perales now taking her time here at 34 seconds. They're going to go ahead and run the clock down unless they find an open shot. Van Tilburg, she wants to take a shot. Right there. Nice shot there by Laura Van Tilburg. From the baseline, and two points right there, 21 seconds now. Score two more points for Van Tilburg. She's got five in the game. Foul called, and it's going to be against Summer Smith. Yep, Summer's first uh, foul of the game. And you got to remember, at the end of that first quarter, against Del Rio, the Lady Panthers were in, in a lot of foul trouble. Remember, Angela Villarreal had three fouls after the first quarter. She doesn't have anything right now. Traveling call. Ball will go in the other direction with 10 seconds here for the Lady Panthers to increase their lead. It's 9-6. to six. Lady Panthers on top. Seven seconds now. Villarreal here working it. Five seconds. Driving. Looking at the clock now. She's got two seconds. Loses the ball there. She's upset with herself. She was trying to make something happen. Bounced off her legs and goes out of bounds. And there's 1.5 seconds left on the clock here for United to try just a desperation shot. Rosas will take a shot, and it's going to be short and no good, and that'll do it. And that is the end of the first quarter. We move to the second. Lady Panthers on top of this one by a score of 9-6. to six. We'll be right back. Hi, this is Amanda with 956sports.com. Check out this week's show where we take a look at soccer, basketball, and football from the past week. Copyright in Westlaco, home to all your digital printing needs in the Valley. At Copyright, you can sit down with one of our creative consultants to design that perfect program for your event. If you need a photo for that milestone time in life, we have the latest technology combined with endless creativity to capture that special time. We do photo enlargements, banners, and for new businesses, we can create signs, business cards, flyers, and more. Copyright in Westlaco, located on Westgate, behind Walgreens. For printing done right, copyright. All right, so here we go. Second quarter action about to begin here. You can hear the band for Laredo United. They brought the pep band here, all the way from uh, Laredo United High School. Doing a good job there, performing here during our timeout. 9-6 to six is our score with the Westlaco Lady Panthers on top here. We're trying to bring you some uh, updates and some scores from across the Rio Grande Valley. 
Um, there's a lot of basketball being played right now. For those of you guys interested in girls' action, it is Los Fresnos taking on uh, Laredo Alexander. And we'll try to bring you a score and update from that game and plus uh, some of the other games taking place across uh, the valley here tonight. As the boys' action, they begin by district competition. We're already in the third round here with uh, the Lady Panthers and Los Fresnos still alive. Turnover right there. Looked like a carrying of the ball right there, but nothing called. Panther fans wanted something. Shot from the outside. Three-pointer, no good. Rebound, United putting it right back up there, and Van Tilber comes up with it. And no harm there. Here comes Villarreal. The ball behind her back, looking. And she'll take a three-point shot. No good. And rebound by Carrillo. Timeout called by Coach Ward. Or actually, it's going to be an um, official timeout. Looks like one of the members of Loretta United there, Maganias. Uh, the wrap that she has around her, her knee there is coming undone. Just beginning second quarter action at 7.25, 9-6. Lady Panthers on top. Still a very, very close game here. Good defense being played by United. Not a lot of second chance opportunities for the Lady Panthers in this game. And United here working it, but good defense also by Lady Panthers. Wide open is underneath for United. First shot no good, but she gets the second one and score it there for Udalis Carrillo. First two points of the second half belong to, or the second quarter, belong to United. Muniz, Jazz, pushing off there, and that's going to be a foul, Rosas. First foul of the game there for Rosas. Pam Rosas. All right, here we go, Villarreal. Villarreal being closely guarded right now and trying to make something happen. There was a push off there, but nothing called. Spin move by Villarreal. Guys, baseline, no good, but Van Tilburg is there to clean it up and score two points. Two more points there for the Lady Panthers and Van Tilburg. 6.28 here in the first quarter. United quickly working in the other direction. Moving the ball around the perimeter. Shot from the outside, three-pointer off the mark, no good. Rebound, and shot is up, no good. Van Tilburg clears the board, and here comes Angel Villarreal. He's got Summer Smith on the wing, and good defense once again as United comes back quickly. And now let's see if they work it inside to Van Tilburg. They do, 100 pass by Villarreal. Driving baseline, Van Tilburg strong to the hoop, and she'll go to the free throw line as she is fouled by Udalis Carrillo. That'll be the second foul for Carrillo. And, and I don't even know if that was on Carrillo. It may have been on Abby Magana. If it's Magani, it's her second foul. If it's Carrillo, it's her second foul. And Van Tilburg to the free throw line. She needs to... Yep, she's been a little bit off on her free throws tonight. Only one for five so far from the charity sprite. And I believe that foul was on Magana's because she's coming out of the game. So Udalis Carrillo still with one personal foul. Second free throw now here for Van Tilburg. Puts that one in there, and a sweet shot right there for Van Tilbert. 12 to 8, Lady Panthers on top. Six minutes before the half. Fast. Uh, this game's going by pretty quickly in terms of the clock. And here we go with United. Working it, driving. Nice little move there. And who scored that one? That was just Rosas for United. As they so far matching pretty well against the Lady Panthers, 12 to 10. Wesley on top. Villarreal loses the ball there momentarily, then comes back and gets it. So quick off the dribble is Angela Villarreal. Muniz. Jazz Muniz now with the ball. And she'll work it inside to Van Tilburg. Back to Perales. And inside to Van Tilburg. Inside the paint. Triple team. Takes it up. And score it there for Laura Van Tilburg. Triple teamed in the paint. And she gets it to go. And the foul here is going to be on Jess Rosas, her second foul. Fourteen ten, Lady Panthers on top. Five seventeen in the second quarter. And Van Tilburg to the line here. 
Two for six from the free throw line is Van Tilburg. She had a lot of opportunities, and that one's in and out. Rebound, Perales, she gets it right back after missing the shot. Now it's uh, Villarreal. She's got Smith over there on the wing, but she wants to take it. Takes the shot and won't go. Perales, they're going to say over the back, yep. Over the back, uh, Megan Perales, that's her second personal foul. So far, only the starters have come in and played here for the Lady Panthers. And uh, Pedales with the first one here with two fouls. Five minutes now here before the end of the first half. And that ball looks like a turnover, and it is. So Panthers will get the ball right back here. Leading by a score of 14 to 10. Looking for the play is Angela Villarreal from the, one of the assistant coaches over here. All right, here we go. Driving to the hoop. Won't go there for Villarreal. She's got to be a little bit frustrated. She's had some looks here, but nothing has fallen. She'll have to just keep on shooting, and they'll eventually fall for her. They usually do. All right, United now working their offense. Working around the perimeter here, not trying to go inside much. And here they go, 16-footer shot, no good. And rebound here by United. That's Bustamante. And it looks like a foul over here on Villarreal. Angela Villarreal with her per first foul comes at 419 in the second quarter. It's, it's kind of good news, though, if you remember the game against Del Rio where she had three fouls at the end of the first quarter. Driving baseline, Bustamante. Another foul on Villarreal. And all of a sudden, they're starting to call this a little bit closer. So two, two fouls now on Angie. Passing the ball inside. Taking the shot, Rosas from the outside. Count it, that's a three-pointer for Pam Rosas. And makes it a one-point game here now for the Lady Panthers, 14-13. Villarreal now playing with two personal fouls. Gets it to Jazz Muniz. Muniz has been quiet so far in this first half. Perales now handling the ball. And no foul call. Panther fans want one. And yep, they'll get one right there. That's kind of the same type of foul that Villarreal was called on. And this will be Angela Bustamante with her first foul. And now the Panthers are in the bonus. Lady Panthers in the bonus. So they'll be shooting one on one now. Going the line will be Angela Villarreal. We're at 3.52 in the second quarter. Villarreal now. She can get her uh, stroke back here. At the free throw line. That one won't fall. Hits uh, all over the rim, but it won't go in there for Villarreal. And here we go now, Rosas with the ball. Got to watch her now, Rosas, because she had that three ball there in the last possession. Going inside here, working it to Santos. Santos shot no good, and uh, Van Tilburg can't get it. It looks like United playing real scrappy right now and getting some of these loose balls. Another three-pointer, and that one is for Rosas. And the Laredo United Longhorns, Lady Longhorns, take the lead 16-14. Angela Villarreal now with the ball here. Wants to drive. Going baseline, looking for Van Tilburg. Feeds it inside, and Van Tilburg takes it up strong. Gets the rebound, wants to go back up there again. That always comes up with it. Muniz to Villarreal. Without thought about the three-pointer. Then she comes back around, driving. Finds the open man, and that is Megan Perales. Good job there by Angela Villarreal. Things were clogged up, but she, with a nifty little pass there, she finds Perales. And it's the Lady Panthers now with a game tied at 16. Looking to check into the game here will be Ashley Gonzalez for the Lady Panthers. We're at 2.43 in the uh, second quarter. The game is tied 16-16. I'd like to thank our sponsors once again. Payne Auto Group of the Real Grand Valley, McDonald's, and South Texas College. Also like to thank our friends over at K-West 
for uh, collaborating with 956sports.com to bring you this game live on our website. Rafael Cavazos working the camera here tonight. That uh, also Val Zamora. I'd like to thank Julian Olivares as well. And the general manager of K-West, Steve Ales. Also superintendent of schools, Dr. Ruben Alejandro. For all the cooperation with 956sports.com to bring you this broadcast. All right, so the situation right now, and let's see, Gonzalez is going to come into the game, Ashley Gonzalez, and let's see who will, it's going to be Jazz Muniz, who will be sitting down here, and Gonzalez well rested into the game now. 242, 16 to 16, a couple of three-pointers have really been the big difference uh, for, the, uh, for the Lady Longhorns. Turnover right here, and the ball goes right to the uh, Lady Panthers right there. So you got two three-pointers. You got uh, one by Jess Rosas and one by Pam Rosas. Those three, two uh, three-pointers there brought the uh, Lady Longhorns. It gave them the lead. And the Lady Panthers came and tied it. Villarreal, shot off the back of the rim, no good. Villarreal has been cold so far in this game from the field. Longhorns now working at Rosas. Working the ball around the perimeter here is United. Trying to go inside, and they do. Got to watch out for this girl. She's been pretty good. No good. And knocked out of bounds there by the Lady Longhorns. Liz Santos is one of those girls to look out for. She's one of those big girls uh, playing in the paint against Van Tilburg and Megan Perales. All right, so here we go now. Gonzalez with the ball. We're at 155 before the end of the half, before the beginning of the half and the end of the first, second quarter. Not sure what the call is here. It's a foul on Summer Smith away from the ball. Second foul here for Smith. And Loretta United gets the ball back. Tough competition right here now for the Lady Panthers. Tied at 16. 148, United here with the ball now. Bustamante handling the ball. And a foul again. It's going to be up. An, a, 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 some type of screen here. Yeah, the ball's going to go against Liz Santos. Her first foul. And a couple of quick turnovers for both these uh, two schools. So here we go now. 139. Left in the second quarter, Gonzalez here with the ball. Just checked in the game, and here comes Van Tilburg. As they work the ball outside to Villarreal. Villarreal driving, takes the shot. Still won't go for Villarreal. Gets the ball right back, and that's one of the things about Villarreal. She is very, very crafty out there. And with her passing, she gets it inside to Perales. And Perales is able to put two points on the board here for the Lady Panthers. And they get the lead back, 18-16. Summer Smith playing with two fouls right here against Rojas. One minute left, and a foul against Rosas. Pushing off against, uh, nope, it's actually not going to be against Rosas. It's going to be against another member. It's going to be against uh, Destiny Lopez, her first foul. And Lady Panthers will get a chance to increase their lead here, up 18-16. And Coach Ward over here is talking to one of the officials, partially on the court. All right, so... Uh, one minute now left here before the half. 18-16. Quality possession time here for the Lady Panthers. Let's see if they can do this. Perales. Perales has contributed to the cause with six points tonight. Feeds it to Villarreal. Villarreal looking nearly traveled there. And the ball is turned over. 42 seconds left on the clock here. Moving down the court now here. Bustamante takes the shot. Foul is going to be called. And she'll be shooting two buckets. And the foul is going to go against Megan Perales. And this will be the third foul on Megan. So Bustamante, Alejandra Bustamante will go to the line. She's got four points in this game. And in and out, no good. Checking in the game, I believe that's Amy Garcia. Checking into the game now here. And Perales will have to sit down with three fouls. 38.4 seconds left in the first half. Westlaco 
Fans making some noise. Second shot, no good. Rebound, Van Tilburg. 37 seconds now. And here we go. Megan is uh, sitting down right now. This is Angela Villarreal handling the ball. Lost it there momentarily. She got 24 seconds inside the Van Tilburg. Van Tilburg working, and they're going to call a foul, it looks like. And the foul is going to go against Destiny Lopez, I believe. Yep, 21. Destiny Lopez with her second foul. So Van Tilburg goes to the line here. She's got 10 points. Does Laura Van Tilburg. Got 20.5 seconds left in the first half, and the first one is no good for Van Tilbert. Points from the charity staff have been hard to come by for Van Tilbert. And she's usually very, very smooth at the free throw line. But these rims have just not been uh, forgiving for the Lady Panthers. Second one off the back of the rim, no good. And 14 seconds, United with the ball. 16 seconds now trying to pass the ball around the perimeter now here 10 seconds now and Rosas with the ball handling it Smith trying to for the turnover Villarreal has 5 seconds now Villarreal 4 Villarreal driving off the glass count it there and that will be the final play of the first half as Angela Villarreal makes the score 20-16 to 16. Lady Panthers on top Angela Villarreal gets her first two points of the game. She's got to keep coming back. Right now it is halftime with the score 20 to 16. Lady Panthers will take a break and be right back. Nobody captures the drama of competition like 956sports.com. Our stories are not just about athletics. Guys, this is about life. This is not always about football. But about the human spirit you find in sports. You're accelerating to the point of attack. I know it's going to be hard the next two months. What was I going to do for my family, for my brothers, for my sister, for my mother? 956sports.com The Tigers win it! The Tigers win it! Be part of the experience. And then Coach Joseph pours it on here in the third quarter. Nobody captures the... Well, it is halftime here at Gurria High School where the Lady Panthers right now on top by a score of 20 to 16. And uh, it's been a hard fought battle here for the Lady Panthers. Angela Villarreal with uh, two points. Megan Perales, who's, who's got some passes because, who's got some points because they have been uh, double teaming Angela Villarreal and, and double teaming and triple team Laura Van Tilburg. So it's left some passing lanes and some easy opportunities for Megan Perales. Unfortunately for the Lady Panthers, Perales now has three fouls in the game. So she'll have to work through that in the second half. Uh, let's see, uh, Van Tilburg has 10 points. Let me, let me just check that once again. Yeah, she's got 10 points. Uh, does Laura Van Tilburg in the first half. And that's 10 points there. Two points for uh, Jazz Muniz. And uh, that's all the scoring there for the Lady Panthers. Leading score is uh, on the other side. I believe that's going to be five points for Jess Rosas of Laredo United. 20 to 16, once again, is our score right here. Taking a look at fouls. Summer Smith has two fouls for Lady Panthers. Villarreal with two fouls. She got both those fouls real, real quick. 
And then Megan Pelas, of course, with those three fouls. Boravet Tilburg has no fouls. And uh, so really the only one in foul trouble, I guess you could say, is Pedales. Villarreal and Smith with both with two fouls. On the other side, we got uh, two fouls for Abby Magana. Jess Rosas also with two fouls. Jessie Lopez with two fouls. And everyone, el uh, everyone else who has a foul has only one for the uh, Laredo United. We'll go ahead and take a break and be right back. Copyright in Westlaco, home to all your digital printing needs in the Valley. At Copyright, you can sit down with one of our creative consultants to design that perfect program for your event. If you need a photo for that milestone time in life, we have the latest technology combined with endless creativity to capture that special time. We do photo enlargements, banners, and for new businesses, we can create signs, business cards, flyers, and more. Copyright in Westlaco, located on Westgate, behind Walgreens. For printing done right, Copyright. Copyright in Westlaco. Home competition like 956sports.com. What the fuck, Dad? You're gonna go! Our stories are not just about athletics. Guys, this is about life. This is not always about football. But about the human spirit you find in sports. You're accelerating to the point of attack. I know it's gonna be hard the next two months. What was I gonna do for my family? For my brothers, for my sister, for my mother. 956sports.com. The Tigers win it! The Tigers win it! Be part of the experience. And then Cal Chelsea pours it out here in the third quarter. All right, taking a look at uh, some scores from across the Rio Grande Valley. Uh, Corpus Christi Flower Bluff leading Ed Cal Chelsea. And this is actually, is this a final? It looks like it is a final. Flower Bluff over Ed Cal Chelsea by a score of 53 to 39. Not sure what time that game started. But uh, that is a final from, yep, from earlier today. Checking out uh, some other scores from across the Rio Grande Valley. As we go to the Twitter feed, that's the best place to get scores, is out of the Twitter feed. And nothing yet right now. I actually got, uh, got one right here from Jonathan Salinas. As Harlingen South right now leading Mack High 18-5 after the first quarter. And uh, that's really the only score got right now. Memorial down right now to Harlingen. 21 to 8. That's coming from Jake Berry. Thanks a lot, Jake. And other scores from across the Rio Grande Valley. Not much else. Uh, we got Vela 49, Laredo LBJ 29. And that one is actually an old score. Sorry about that, folks. All right, we'll try to get you more scores later on, but right now in this basketball game, it is 20 to 16. Lady Panthers on top. Still have about three minutes left here before the end of the uh, halftime. We'll go ahead and take a break and be back.
All right, so here we go. Second half action about to get begin right here. Third quarter begins with the Lady Longhorns. 20 to 16, halftime score here. Other scores from across the Rio Grande Valley. Mercedes right now at the end of the first quarter leading Laredo Martin 16 to 11. And another score, Hardington South 38, Mack High 18. That one at the half, so a big lead there for Hardington South. All right, foul call on that play. Didn't see who it was charged to, but this is going to be Rosas with the ball. Looking to go inside. Nope, passes to the outside instead. Shot there, no good. And rebound there by Magana. Rosas and Magana working a three-point there by Magana. That one almost in. It's off the glass, but no good. And Villarreal now with the ball. Villarreal looking here to pass. Villarreal driving. And she'll have to dribble out of that one there as a good defense here by Lord United. Lady Longhorns. Muniz now with the ball. To bang it that Alice. They'll spread this one around a little bit, try to open up some driving lanes. And that one, nice shot there by Villarreal. But they're going to call a foul on Loretta United, but it'll be on the floor before the bucket was made. So Lady Panthers will keep the ball here. Score remains 2016 inside Van Tilburg. Foul call and score it there for the Lady Panthers and Laura Van Tilburg. And Van Tilburg had 10 points in that first half. Starts off the third quarter with two points there. And she'll go to the free throw line. And score right there for Van Tilburg. 23-16 now. Lady Panthers on top. 6.59. Third quarter action here. United now with the ball. Trying to score and keep up with Lady Panthers. Easy, easy little lane drive back there for Lopez. 23-18 now is our score. Longhorns have done a very good job here of keeping up with Westlaco. Villarreal with the ball. And go back and forth between Summer Smith and Villarreal. Villarreal will take her time right here. Look for something to open up. She takes the shot. Fouled. And she'll go to the line. Let's see who this foul is going to be on. And looks like it's going to be on number 12, Claudia Lopez. Villarreal to the free throw line. She was 0 for 1 from the free throw line in that first half. Second one. Her second free throw is no good. Checking in the game now here will be Odalis Carillo. All right, so here we go. Villarreal at 6.20. In the third quarter, 23 to 18. Still a very close game here. And score it. 24-18 now is our score, 6-18, third quarter action. United now. Let's see what they can do here. Van Tilburg will come out here, play some good defense, pass inside. Muniz is there, and they'll work it back around once again to Magana. Magana Rosas. Now they feed it inside. It loses the ball. It's actually a pass. Thought she lost it there for a moment, but it was a pass to her teammate. Shot there and counted. Who scored that one? That's going to be Rosas. Two more points there for Laredo United. Four-point game, 24-20. Lady Panthers on top, 540. And it looks like the Lady Panthers are spreading the ball a little bit more here now for themselves. And coming out and looking for some better passing lanes and driving lanes. Quick and so good there is Villarreal able to get by the defender. And score two points there. Evangela Villarreal gets hot here in the second half. It could be over. It's 26-20 right now. Still a good game. 
Yeti Al took a bunch of shots in that first half and only scored two points, but she's got to keep coming here, especially in the second half from way downtown. That shot no good by Magana. Now Villarreal, pass to Muniz. Muniz will take the shot right there, count it there for Jazz Muniz. And now the Lady Panthers on a little bit of a run here to make the score 28 to 20, and Loretta United needs a timeout. Nobody captures the drama of competition like 956sports.com. Our stories are not just about athletics. Guys, this is about life. This is not always about football. But about the human spirit you find in sports. You're sorry to the point of attack. I know it's going to be hard the next two months. What was I going to do for my family, for my brothers, for my sister, for my mother? 956sports.com. The Tigers win it! The Tigers win it! Be part of the experience. And then Coach Joseph pours it on here in the third quarter. All right, so the Lady Panthers here now. Some good adjustments at the half as they're using more of the court here to open up some lanes. You can see that Villarreal and Smith are the two guards there for Westlaco. Really playing out a little bit more here and further away from the key to open up the offense here for the Lady Panthers. That's what they're doing offensively. Let's see if they can stop defense here and play better defense against United. Who's this foul going to go against? Looks like it's going to be a double foul here. It's going to be a foul against Van Tilburg, her first foul. And also a foul against uh, uh, Carrillo. Odalis Carrillo. Her, her second foul, Laura Van Tilburg's first foul. All right, 441 here in the third, 28-20. Lady Panthers on top. So here we go now. And uh, this is Rosas. Good job there by Villarreal. Knocking that one out of bounds. Inbounding the ball here will be Lopez for United. Now Rosas with the ball here. Closely guarded by Smith. And United, here we go, driving the lane. Pedales goes down here looking for a charge. He said they're going to call. A blocking foul against her. It's actually going to be, yep, on Megan Perales. And that's going to be Megan's fourth foul now, according to my book. And Amy Garcia gets up. And Coach Fino is talking to the official right now. You can't see it on your screen. But she's pleading the case there for Megan Perales. Amy Garcia wants to come into the game here. But uh, not yet. Free throw there is no good for number 12, Claudia Lopez. Garcia still can't go into the game. And now, now they'll let her in, and Pedales will come out of the game here now with four fouls. She's had a good game, has Megan Pedales. She scored six points in that first half. Second one is good for Loretta United and Claudia Lopez. Twenty-eight, twenty-one, four, twenty-five in the third quarter, and here comes Villarreal with the ball. Villarreal to Muniz, back to Villarreal. Villarreal so quick driving the baseline, wanted to pass there to Van Tilburg, but it was blocked out of bounds. Inbound here, Smith, and he usually like to go to Van Tilburg. So tall, and Smith and Van Tilburg have been playing together since they were kids. But they get it to Muniz, and it's knocked out of bounds there by United. Abby Magana there knocked that one out of bounds. And here we go to uh, Villarreal. Reset the offense here, 28-21. Villarreal driving off the glass, no good. Van Tilburg will come over here and fight for it. And is knocked out of bounds by United. 
The officials are, yep. Don't know who it was uh, knocked out of. I'll say it was against United right in front of the Panther bench. And official timeout here as one of the members of the Lady Longhorns ties her shoot. All right, so here we go. Jasmine needs to Smith. Smith will keep the ball here now. She gets the play from Coach Fino. Jazz inside to Villarreal. Villarreal driving and fouled. And that's going to be another foul here on Carrillo. Her third foul. I believe that is three and her. So going to the line here will be Angela. One for three tonight from the free throw line is Angie. And that one is good there for the Lady Panthers. 29-21, Westlaco. Second shot here now for Villarreal. I'd like to thank everybody for watching this broadcast on 956sports.com. And second shot here for Villarreal is no good. So here we go, 29-21. United now with the ball. Rosas. Trapped. And are they going to call a foul there, or did she touch the baseline? They're going to call a foul on Summer Smith, her third foul now for Summer. 3.32 in the third quarter, three fouls on Smith. Going inside now here. Van Tilburg with a good defense. And they have to move the ball back out. Does Loretta United. Nothing inside. Wanting to go inside to Santos. And, uh, but they won't because Van Tilburg just with some great defense there and a good body on Santos. Loretta United is going to win this game. They're going to have to shoot from the outside. And they draw another foul there. And I believe that's going to be against Angela Villarreal. It certainly is. And Angela Villarreal now has three personal fouls. Three fouls on Villarreal. Free throw, shot no good. And shooting here is Alejandra Bustamante. Second shot here now. Mm, off the back and no good. Rebound Van Tilburg. Muniz, Jazz with the ball now. Looking for Villarreal. Three minutes now left here in the third quarter. And Muniz to Van Tilburg. Van Tilburg wants to drive, but they're going to say she traveled. And the turnover right there. United gets the ball right back. Stolen by Smith, nearly anyway. And able to get away from Mendez Rosas. Rosas now quickly up the court. Smith has to be careful. She's got three fouls now. Playing here in the third quarter with 2.44 in the third quarter. United once again. Driving, knocked out of bounds by Amy Garcia. And actually went off the leg. But good defense there by Garcia to force the turnover off the leg of Bustamante. So coming into the game here now will be Abby Magana. She's playing with two fouls here for Laredo United. And the Lady Panthers now here with the ball up 29-21. And Villarreal working the ball here to Smith. 2.24 left in the third quarter. Muniz takes the shot and no good. Garcia fighting underneath, but it'll be United coming back with the ball here. United now trying to get some points on the board. They're down 29-21 as the defense has really stepped up here for the Lady Panthers. Inside, Van Tilburg trying to block it. Somehow able to get it through Van Tilburg. And scoring there is Carrillo for the Lady Longhorns. Making the score 29-23. Let's see if Smith will work it inside here to Van Tilburg. She does. Van Tilburg looking. Loses the ball momentarily. Then puts it right back up there. Drives baseline. And two points there for Van Tilburg. She's got three, uh, five points here in the second half. 
31-23 here now. We're at 134 in the third quarter, and now the Panther fans are calling for some tough defense. Garcia, underneath there playing the defense, she's gonna draw, or she's going to uh, foul, and she did foul Liz Santos. And it looks like Santos has the height advantage over Amy Garcia. And Amy doing whatever she can to stop Santos. Santos got to run about 5'11", maybe six foot. Free throw is good there for Santos. Her first points of the game. 31-24 is our score. The Red United still in within striking distance here. Second free throw, no good. And Van Tilburg will come up with a rebound. Jazz Muniz, nobody's guarding her. She takes it up. Smith with the ball now. Van Tilburg, see what she does now here with the ball. And she'll give it up here to Villarreal. 113 left in the third quarter. 31-24. Westler goes on top. Smith to Van Tilburg. Van Tilburg. Let's see what she does here. Last time she's able to drive. Takes the shot. Fouled. And she'll go to the free throw line. And the foul is going to go against uh, Liz Santos. Only her second foul. So Van Tilburg goes to the line to shoot two free throws. She's one for one in the second half here. Count it. Thirty-two twenty-four. Lady Panthers on top. Second free throw here now for Van Tilburg. And that one's good. She's perfect from the charity stripe in the second half. Three for three for Laura Van Tilburg. 33-24. Under a minute now. We're at 59 seconds and counting. And Summer Smith putting the pressure right now here on Magana. 50 seconds now. Wanting to go inside, and they do. Garcia with the defense. No good. Lauren Van Tilburg here with the rebound. Villarreal working in the other direction now with 40 seconds before the end of the third quarter. Villarreal driving off the glass. Count it there for Angela Villarreal. Make the score 35-24. Lady Panthers. 29 seconds now left in the third quarter. Villarreal has come to life here. And now a turnover as Westlaco will get the ball right back. I was saying that Villarreal has come to life here in the third quarter with six points. Foul there is going to be on number 20, Lisa Camacho. And new personnel comes in here now for Loretta United. 35-24, Lady Panthers off that fantastic penetration by Angela Villarreal. A little frustrated in that first half, but she's come to life with six points here in the third. Smith, she'll drive, she'll take a shot. Actually wanted to pass it to Van Tilburg, and she's fouled, and she's going to be shooting two buckets. It was actually a pass. She likes that little move there where she looks like she's going to take a shot, but she passes it to Van Tilburg, but the officials call her the shot, so she'll shoot two free throws. Thirty-five, twenty-four. here now. Summer Smith at the line. And won't fall there for Summer. All right, 9.5 seconds left in the third quarter. Second free throw here for Summer. And that one is good for Smith. 36-24, West Laco on top. Summer Smith trying to get the ball back with seven seconds. Good job there by Rosas handling the ball. Four seconds now. Two seconds. One knocked away by Muniz. And that'll do it. Good defense there for West Laco to close the third quarter. And they lead this game by a score of 36-24. to 
Nobody captures the drama of competition like 956sports.com. What the fuck, Dad? You're gonna go! Our stories are not just about athletics. Guys, this is about life. This is not always about football. But about the human spirit you find in sports. You accelerate to the point of attack. I know it's gonna be hard the next two months. What's I gonna do for my family, for my brothers, for my sister, for my mother? 956sports.com. The Tigers win it! The Tigers win it! Be part of the experience. And then Coach Elsa pours it out here in the third quarter. All right, we go to the fourth quarter with the Lady Panthers on top, 36 to 24 on the line here. A meeting in the regional tournament, which will be taking place starting Friday at six o'clock. And uh, they're gonna play the winner against uh, San Antonio Stevens and Cibolo Steele. That's who uh, the winner of this game will play at six o'clock at the University of Texas Pan American on Friday. So that is what's on the line here. Eight minutes left, the Lady Panthers on top 36-24. It's been a hard-fought uh, lead here, hard-fought game for the Lady Panthers. So here we go, fourth quarter action. Smith is in the game. Villarreal, Van Tilburg, Amy Garcia, and Jazz Moniz. Uh, they got some players down there with foul trouble. We'll go through those here in just a minute. But right now it's Summer Smith working the ball here in Villarreal now. And they're playing very, very wide and, and opening up some passing lanes here inside to Garcia. Garcia gets it to Van Tilburg. Nice little pass from Garcia. Van Tilburg, though, can't finish, but it goes right back to Smith. And Smith kind of lost her balance right there. Muniz, three-point, no good. And another rebound here for Lady Panthers. Three offensive rebounds there for Westlaco. Angela taking it to the hoop. No good. And coming up with it once again is Villarreal. Villarreal, jump shot. No good. Garcia fight for it. And the Lady Panthers just don't want to give up this basketball. Good offensive rebound there for the Lady Panthers. Going to the line now will be Amy Garcia. That's five, six, seven shots there for the Lady Panthers. And they battle to get those rebounds. So Garcia will go to the line here looking for the first points of the fourth quarter for the Lady Panthers. And that was no good for Garcia. Second free throw here now for Amy. And in and out. The ribs, like I said, have not been nice to the Lady Panthers. Not at the free throw line. All right, so here we go. Laredo United in a little bit of trouble here now. Down 36-24. Play now with a little bit more urgency. Magana wanted to drive there. She actually passed it at the last minute. And a foul is called. And it's going to be on Jasmine East. First personal foul there for number 23, Jasmine East. A. Magana will go to the free throw line now. Seems to be a little bit of confusion now, now on the court here. Oh, the foul is on number five. The foul is on Amy Garcia. That's what the discussion was about, and not Jasmine East. Free throw, no good, and rebound by United. They were hustling there to get the rebound. So here we go, 36-24, 6-30 left in the game. Shot from the outside. Three-pointers help United get back in the game in that first quarter. And here we go, shot down the baseline is no good. Rebound Garcia. Villarreal quickly down the court. Takes the shot and they're gonna, yep, she's gonna go to the free throw line. 
as she draws the foul, does Villarreal nearly traveled on that play. Just so quick to the hoop there. And Villarreal trying to manufacture points here any way possible. And try to keep the lead here for Westlaco. Looks like Megan Porales with four fouls will come into the game. Villarreal is two for four tonight from the free throw line. Actually two for five from the free throw line. And that one is good. Thirty-seven twenty-four now. And Villarreal with her second free throw now here. A little frustrated. She was shut out in that first quarter. Got two points in that second quarter. And in the second half, she's had a much better second half. Has Villarreal. Six points in the third quarter. She's got one here in the fourth. All right, so here we go. Battling back here now, or trying to, is Loretta United. You see Van Tilburg battling underneath there with Destiny Lopez. Magana now working against Pedales. Pedales has four fouls. And shooting from the outside, Magana, no good. Fighting for it is Smith, and she gets the ball back. Good job there, Summer. 5.43 here in the fourth quarter. Double dribble. Not sure what happened there for Summer. Just thinking about passing it, instead she uh, hesitated a little bit right there. So new personnel coming in now here for Loretta United. All right, so here we go now. United with the ball. Rosas working it here against Smith to Magana. Um, they'll work the perimeter here, working it to the outside. Shot from way downtown. That's no good. And coming up with it is United off of the rebound. Another shot here by Rosas. Blocked. And here we go. Villarreal wants to pass it. She does. She finds Jazz Muniz. Muniz shooting baseline, and she is fouled. Is Muniz. Looks like it's going to be Rosas. Yes, Rosas with a foul. That's her third foul. Jazz Muniz now to the free throw line. Been a quiet night for Jazz Muniz. Four points for her. First free throw here is no good. 37-24. As long as the Lady Panthers can continue to play this great defense, they're going to be okay in this basketball game. Offense has been uh, kind of sluggish here in the fourth quarter. But uh, defensively, they've been doing an excellent job. Muniz now, second free throw. And that one is good. Thirty-eight twenty-four is our score now. 5-10 left in the game. United haven't been able to do anything here in the fourth quarter. Blocked by Van Tilburg. But United gets the ball right back. Shot from the outside. Three-pointer, no good. Rebound, United. They need some of those three-pointers to get back in this game. Does United. That was no good. And rebound, Villarreal loses the ball there. And the ball will go right back to Loretta United. Coming into the game now will be Abby Magana. We're at 4.43. Lady Panthers on top, 38-24. Inbound here, United. Going inside, but Van Tilbury is there. Knocked away by Smith, but uh, Rosas will get the ball right back. Magana, she can shoot those three-pointers. Trying to drive here against Perales. And Perales basically has to move out of the way because she didn't want to pick up her first foul. Did Perales. So score two points right there for United. 38-26 now is our score. Panthers, Lady Panthers need to continue to score here because they're not going to shut down United for the rest of this game. So here we go, Smith, Van Tilburg now. Taking their time, being patient, trying to find something offensively are the Lady Panthers. Villarreal here with the ball, working it behind her back now. Trying to create some room here now. And a foul is called. Ticky-tack foul there, but it is against Claudia Lopez. 
And that's bonus time here for Lady Panthers. Shooting two fouls will be uh, Angela Villarreal. It's good. Ten points here for Angela Villarreal in this game. She's got two here in the fourth. And she had, what, six there in the third quarter. And that one's no good. 39-26 is the score. United now. Here we go. And are they going to call a foul? Looks like it. I believe it's going to be against Megan Perales. No, actually going to be against Summer Smith. That's four fouls now in Summer. So Pam Rosas will go to the line here. And um, new person coming in near, that's Alejandra Bustamante. So Rosas to the line here, 39-26. Lady Panthers on top, 344. And there's another one there for Laredo United. Checking in now here, that's going to be Odales Carrillos, or Carrillo rather, for Laredo United. Second free throw here for Rosas. It's good. 39-28. Villarreal here with the ball. Loses it there right in the uh, key. Stolen away there by Magana. Oh, nearly a travel there by United. Nothing called by the officials. Work it outside to Magana. And she's calling for the ball, but they won't pass it to her. That's Rosas out there. She likes to shoot those three points from way downtown. Van Tilburg with another block. They're actually going to call a foul that time on Van Tilburg. That looked like that was all ball. But it's only two personal fouls there on Van Tilburg. I got four blocks for Van Tilburg in this game. But only two personal fouls, she's okay. We're at 317 left in the game. But slowly but surely, United has gone on a little bit of a run here. Trying to cut it to a 10-point lead here. And, yep, it falls in there, bounces around the rim. And we got ourselves a 10-point game. Timeout called. Gonna be a 30-second timeout called by Westlico. And as Coach Fino there will talk to her troops, talk to the team. We'll take a time right now to uh, recognize our sponsors. Like to talk, thank uh, Payne Auto Group for the Rio Grande Valley McDonald's and South Texas College sponsors of uh, sports here in the Rio Grande Valley on 956sports.com. We got other action also on the website tonight. We got uh, McAllen Role playing in their big basketball game, and uh, McAllen Row, and also uh, Harlingen South versus Mack High. And McAllen Row, they're taking on Harlingen, so the battle between Harlingen and McAllen also taking place on 956sports.com. We hope you're enjoying this basketball game. Girls basketball action, uh, Lady Panthers versus Laredo United. A 10-point lead here for the Westaco uh, Lady Panthers, but still a lot of basketball to be played here. I'd also like to thank uh, Westaco School District for uh, their cooperation and our collaboration in bringing you this game. Got Rafael Cavazos on the camera tonight. Also got Val Samora working here tonight. Um, back at the station at K-West. We got those other guys over there working. Steve Valdez, station manager. And of course, I'd like to thank uh, Athletic Director Oscar Riojas and Superintendent of, uh, Superintendent of Schools, uh, Dr. Ruben Alejandro. Also like to thank Julian Olivares from K-West as well for helping coordinate things here this week and last week for this broadcast. All right, 3.17 left in the game. Free throw is no good. Rebound, Megan Perales. It remain a 10-point lead here for Westlaco. Quality possessions now here for Westlaco. That's what they need here with uh, just a little over three minutes left in the game. And Villarreal will handle it here. She'll calls out the, uh, the, the play right here to her teammates. 
Get it to Smith, 255. Left in the game, inside Van Tilburg. Van Tilburg working it, double team, loses the ball there, goes off the hands of Megan Pedales. Substitutions coming in here now for uh, the United Longhorns. That's Pam Rosas coming into the game. 246, 10 point lead. Got to watch out for those three uh, three pointers now here. Wanted to take the shot there, but she won't. She feeds it inside instead, but Rosas won't take the shot. Magana handling the ball here, going inside, finds her man. Van Tilburg blocks that one and then steals it away, and then she's fouled. So Van Tilburg will go to the other side of the court now to shoot two free throws. That's five blocks here for Van Tilburg. And another, that's going to be four personal fouls now on Cadillo. Van Tilburg doesn't have any points here in the fourth quarter, looking for her first points of the fourth. She's been perfect from the line in the second half. She's got seven points here in the second half, 17 in the game. Count it. you got to love the way she has battled back here at the free throw line in the second half to make all her free throws after struggling in that first half. And that one's off the mark, but rebound by Pedalis. She takes it up strong, and now she'll go. What? They're going to call traveling? I thought it was a foul. Pedalis thought it was a foul. But they call traveling instead. So a turnover there. But the score is 40 to 29. Lady Panthers on top. 219. The clock working against United or working the favor of the Lady Panthers. Yep, they need free throws. The travel call. Magana. And they've been calling those against the, both these two teams. New personnel now coming in here for United. And, and a lot of substitutions here for Coach Ward and his team. And Coach Fino has used the same five. The only two that have come in are Ashley Gonzalez and uh, Amy Garcia. Other than that, she's gone with the top five players. Vieri Allen with the ball here. Passing it. Muniz, she likes those three-pointers from the corner. No good. She gets it right back, puts it right back up. No good. And 158 now left in the game. Points have been hard to come by here for the Panthers. Lady Panthers here in the second half. But their defense has been just as good as it was in the first half. Going up strong. No good. And United will reset the offense here. 141 now left in the game. Foul called on, it looks like on Villarreal, even though she has her hands up. And it's going to be on Angela Villarreal. She's got four fouls. But there's a minute and 39 seconds left in the game. It is a 40 to 29 lead here now for Westlaco. And uh, Villarreal now playing with four fouls. And that free throw is no good. Still an 11 point lead here for Westlaco with one, once again, 139. I give out, uh, I, I say the clock so much is because we don't have a running clock on our screen. So. Everybody's used to having that clock on their screen, so I try to call it out as much as possible. So the free throw, the second free throw is good to make it a 10-point lead once again here for Westlake. 4 to 30. But Alice taking the shot there and knocked out of bounds by Jazz Muniz. 131 now left in the game. All right, so here we go. Clock is rolling at 1.30. Ten-point lead here for Westlaco. Panther fans, Lady Panther fans now making some noise, calling for defense. Getting a little loud here now, Gruya High School. Three-pointer, no good. That would have been big for United. And, and, you know, these officials are calling this game very, very tight now. And the foul is going to go against Villarreal. As she has fouled out of the game. Scene number 13, Alejandra Bustillo. 
And they haven't called Villarreal to leave the game yet. He's got four fouls, but I guess they uh, messed up on the books. But I got five fouls. Yep, there we go. Yeah, now it's five. Now they got her. So Villarreal will have to leave the game with five fouls. And coming to the game will be Ashley Gonzalez. Not a bad game for Angela Villarreal, though. I know she sits down a little disappointed. She ends up the game with 10 points. And a big hand from the Westlake Panther crowd. 10-point lead here for Westlake, 113 left in the game. And free throw was good, nine-point lead here. And now full court press being put on by United. Van Tiller is going to have to dribble, and she can. Being pressured. And they'll call a foul, yep. And Van Tiller will go to the line. She's only missed one free throw here in the fourth quarter, or in the second half, rather. 107, so it could come down to free throws here now with a nine-point lead. So Van Tilburg needs to make these free throws. So here we go now. No good. Nine-point lead here. Let's go Van Tilburg will get another shot here. 107 left in the game. 107 left in the game. Nine point lead here for Westlico. Second free throw. In and out, no good. United with the ball. Pushing it up the court. One minute left in the game. Nine point lead here for Westlico. And what happened? Timeout call. Coach Ward wants a timeout here for Loretta United. And we'll go ahead and keep it right here. Full timeout. It's going to be 56 seconds left in the game. Nine point lead here for Westlico. And uh, Angela Villarreal has fouled out of the game. She fouled out with 10 points. And Lady Panthers, it's been hard points to come by here. If my scorecard is correct, all the points here for the Lady Panthers in the fourth quarter have come from the free throw line. So Coach Fino, they're talking to her troops, letting them know what's at stake here now as we come down to the final minutes of the game, final seconds, rather, of the game. All right, so... Uh, Lady Panthers just trying to end this contest here, end it, and go on to the next round of the playoff, which will be a meeting between San Antonio Stevens or Cibolo Steel at University of Texas Pan American at 6 o'clock on Friday. And if everything works out logistically for us, we'll be bringing you that game live Friday night. Of course, we'd like to see uh, everyone at the University of Texas Pan American to support the Panthers, Lady Panthers. All right, 56.6 seconds. Here we go. Nine-point lead here. Watch out for these three-pointers th three, uh, now here for United. Coming out of a timeout is United. 44 seconds now. Three-pointer. And no good. United gets the ball right back. Coming up with it is Megan Fedales. And she is fouled. And she'll go to the line now. Shoot two free throws. 36.4 seconds. And Megan Fouls will go to the line here now. That's five fouls. And fouling out of the game here will be Rodales Carillo. Good game for her. Going up against Van Tilburg here. So Fouls will go to the line now. But Alice, she put in a good game in that first half. She scored six points. This will be a first attempt from the charity strike. It's good. Every point is important right now here in the fourth quarter. And that one is good there. Moving back up to a 10-point lead. 
Second free throw here for Megan. That one, count it. Count it for Megan. She's made a few points here tonight. Six, seven, eight now. 30 seconds left in this game. United needs to hit some three-pointers quickly. That one looked like it was good from my angle, but no good. And here we go, Muniz, 20 seconds now. Megan Perales with the ball. Feeds it inside to Smith, but it's going to be a turnover instead of 15 seconds. Lady Panthers going to win this game. Eight seconds. That one is blocked. Muniz actually going to pick up a foul there instead. And they'll be shooting free throws, but... Going to the line will be Rosas. But there's only seven seconds left in the game. The Lady Panthers are going to move on to the regional tournament. Congratulations to the girls from Westlaco. Second year in a row, they'll be playing in the regional tournament. Free throw is good. Ten-point lead here for Westlaco. 7.3 seconds left. Second free throw is good now. 42-33. and Good game here by Loretta United. They played each other, United and Westlaco, and it was Westlaco coming out with a, a slim victory. I wasn't sure if it was... Seven, six or seven points. I was talking to some of the fans before the game. It's actually three fouls here. And that's it. Smith with the ball. She's fouled. 3.6 seconds left in the game. And Summer Smith will go to the line. So they will move on here. Play the winner between, once again, a San Antonio Stevens and Cibolo Steele. And also having an opportunity opportunity to go to the uh, Region 4 tournament will be Laredo Alexander versus Los Fresnos, but they'll be playing in the other game, the winner of uh, Alexander and Los Fresnos. Free throw is no good there for Summer Smith. Back-to-back -back district champs and back-to-back -back Sweet 16 for the Lady Panthers. And they can relax a little bit now after a hard-fought game, and, and, and Coach uh, Fino Use her top five players, and, and the only other two that came into the game were Ashley Gonzalez and Amy Garcia. Garcia Didn't go very deep into her bench. She wanted to rely uh, really on Van Tilburg a lot. Van Tilburg had 24 points in the by district game, 27 points in the uh, area round game. And this one, I'll have to add up her scores. Eighteen points in this game for Van Tilburg. 10 points in the first half, 8 points in the second half. For a total of 18 points, and her free throws really came to life in the second half. She was 4 of 6 in the second half. After being 2 of 9 in that first half. Score there for Summer Smith, make it 43-33. One last shot here for United, and that'll do it. The Lady Panthers are regional quarterfinal champions, and they are moving on for the second year in a row to the Region 4 tournament at the University of Texas Pan American. Final score in this one, Lady Panthers win it by a final score of 43 to 33. Once again, I'd like to thank everybody at K-West. I'd like to thank everybody at Westlaco Independent School District. For everybody at 956sports.com, I'm Carlos Roberto. Once again, final score, Lady Panthers win it, 43-33. to Good night, everybody. We hope you enjoyed this broadcast. We'll see you on Friday. Who do they play next? Uh, either Cibolo Steele or San Antonio Stevens. Yeah.